Good morning. Maria and I are going to do a little after clearance, or no, not after clearance, after Christmas clearance shopping. So it's about, let's see, it's 926 on Saturday morning, uh, December 26th, and we are heading into Aldi. A couple of years ago, I went into Aldi the day after Christmas just because I needed a couple groceries, actually, and they had so many things on clearance. Um, just really, really good clearance specials. So anyway, we're here. We're going to head over to Goodwill. We have a pile of stuff in the back, don't we, of mm -hmm. stuff to take to Goodwill. We're going to stop there. And then we're also going to stop at Walmart and see what we can find there. So let's go see what we can do. After this. Were you listening to me? Yes. <laughs> what did I say? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Okay, that was really fast in Aldi. They did not have any meat on clearance, which is really what I was looking for. Um, like I said, like a couple years ago, I think it was, I went in and they had so much meat marked way, way down. And I thought if I could score some like chicken, especially, or maybe some pork chops or something, that that's what I would do. We did get a ham. They had the spiral sliced hams for 95 cents a pound, which was like their normal price, I think was a dollar, what did it say, Maria? Dollar eighty-five, dollar eighty-five a pound, or dollar eighty-four, something like that. So we did get one ham. I'll just pop that in the freezer, like for some other time. And then we picked up a little bit of wrapping paper. When we get home, we'll go through a whole haul video here with this. Okay. All right, we're done at Goodwill. Maria's like, I am so ready to go home, Mom. But we scored three more really cute wrapping papers. I think those were a dollar forty-nine, and we also scored some great oh. plates. Are those not going up there? This is my favorite. Which one? This. Oh, with the snowmen. Mhm. Mm Very cute. Yes. <laughs> I did get these for two fifty for a great big um, package. Super excited about that. And then we got some little ones to match. So. All right, we're gonna head off to Walmart and see what we can find there. And then Maria, she is totally ready to go home. <laughs> Although she wanted to come so bad, then you know how it is. Then you get shopping with mom, you're like, I'm ready. All right, so all kinds of deals at Walmart for sure. Tons of leftover Christmas stuff at 50% off that we scored. And um, you know, just a word to the wise, or how do, is that the right way to say that phrase? I don't know. But anyway, just a word to you if you are shopping the clearance deals, always watch the uh, checkout machine because there were a number of things that did not ring up 50% off, but I just called the lady over because I was on self-check and she, um, where are we parked, Maria? We are not over here. I think we're one over this way. And anyway, then she just quick overrides it to be 50% off because the worst thing is to get back home and then realize that uh, you ended up paying full price for things you intended to do clearance. So I got some really good buys here. Maria wants me to open up the van, don't you, hon? Um, yes. Keys, keys, the keys. Is locked. There we go. Just wait, we're finding our keys amidst pockets full pocket full of masks. <laughs> this was a good score, I would have to say, right? Some Elf on the Shelf cereal yes, for $2. Totally. Yeah, that'll be kind of fun, a fun little treat. Okay, we're going to get this loaded up and get home, have some lunch, and lay it out and do a little haul video, huh? All right, so we're back home. We actually, we've been home for a little while now already. Um, we just had some lunch and everything. So I just wanted to show you guys everything that I picked up for 50% off today. Um, like I I think earlier I showed we went to Aldi, we went to Goodwill, and we went to Walmart. So I guess just starting with the Walmart stuff here, um, I did pick up one of these scalp massagers. So Sam got one of these for Christmas, and we have had more fun with that, and it actually does feel really, really good. Some friends had stopped over the other day, and um, they really liked it, and I they had them for 50 cents. So, so I grabbed one of these, and that is going to be given away. And then I wanted to get a few of these little packages. I made a lot of breads this year, just these little mini ones, harvest loaf and cranberry bread. And then I package them up, and I can just give them out. Let's say we're stopping over someplace, or give one, you know, to to our priest or stick one in the mailbox for our a mail carrier, things like that. And then I saw these with the clear lids and we had received a couple 
uh, tins of cookies this year that had the clear lid and I thought that was so cute and I thought these are really little but I still thought they were cute and I think these were 68 well 74 these came in at 74 cents so basically a quarter for each of those little boxes which is great and then this year I also had set up more of a wrapping I've always had my wrapping paper in a specific container, but this year I really uh, made sure I had tissue paper and all the boxes and the bows, everything in one location, and that worked so well this year. And so I noticed that we could use some more of these small boxes. So these would have been $1.50, and also those at $1.50 for four boxes and six boxes. I picked up one of these packages. I don't know... This would have been about a dollar, under a dollar fifty, about a dollar twenty-five, and just three of these little boxes. Sometimes we have, you know, earrings that I give as a gift or something, and it's nice to have something pretty, prettier than just an Amazon box, which is what I normally stuff everything into. Uh, this little sign, I just really, I really thought it was cute. I thought it'd be nice, like hanging it. Sometimes you just want something little to put with kind of a display for Christmas. Were you going to say something to me? I'm just going to go check water and then work on the tree stands. Okay. And then this I picked up actually to give to Colt next Christmas. And I just thought it was so cute with it being the little nativity and kind of like all the little stuffed people and stuffed animals in this little um, um, crash here. I just thought it was really cute. So I picked that up. And then the same thing with the... Um, Jan Brett version of the uh, Night Before Christmas book. This is one that we have and again it was half off so it was only four dollars instead of eight. Maria saw these little Kinder Joys and I don't know about you guys but I think these are actually disgusting but they like them and so at least Peter and Maria do so I picked that up at 50% off so this was a dollar fifty for all four of those sorry these little treat bags here actually came from Aldi and these were only I think 64 or 74 cents for the treat bags I also picked up these little mini muffin cups or muffin liners from Aldi half off back to Walmart stuff here. So I did pick up this great big thing of sprinkles. This was $4.50, I believe. And I thought that even the um, the red and white we could use on, um, like, um, what am I thinking, Valentine's Day cookies. And then the green and white we could decorate like shamrocks or something. So they don't have to be saved for next Christmas, but they do keep basically forever and ever. And then some of these toothpicks. So we like to put these in the pickle bites when we make them and we used them all up from this year. This I'm just gonna tuck away. Uh, I thought this was so cute. I actually should have gotten more of these. These were only $1.50. It's like a little kitchen towel. It's got some sparkle on it. This is actually embroidered. This is velvet. And I just thought that was so cute. Uh, to tuck into like a little gift bag for somebody that that type of thing and then apple of my pie <laughs> um, i use these glade warmers and i like them these were half off and then i do still have a little um sort of a little gift package that i'm putting together for a friend and um, she likes gnomes and so i found this little gnome stocking it's actually not little it's a really nice size stocking um, very very cute and this Making Things Happen book, I just it just kind of spoke to me. I thought, you know what, a nice book for keeping track of, you know, whatever. And this little polish set, and then this little gnome garland. I thought those were cute. I did pick these plates up at Goodwill. So for $1.50 for this big pack of, I think there's 20 plates here, and I think there's 20 in this pack also. This was $2.50 for 20 plates. So I'll put those away for next year. And I, these are so much better than the ones I got this year. These actually have like a, a lip on them so your food doesn't roll off. The ones I got this year were way too tiny. Andy's Mints for $0.97 cents at Aldi's. Half off, so $2 for Elf on the Shelf sugar cookie cereal. And then a little rug. I really liked this one because it's not necessarily Christmas. It's more just winter. And I picked this up at Walmart. Um, more over in like their 
kind of kitcheny houseware area, 50% off, so $5. And I will put that out in the garage as you enter into the house. Now, this is overkill. I know it is. <laughs> I only went looking for five rolls. I counted up what I had and how many I need because I'm not sure if I made this totally clear this year, but what we do for wrapping presents, and I think I have actually a video on this from a couple Christmases ago. Um, what we do is our kids get three presents. So they get something to read, something to wear, and something for fun. And each of those presents is wrapped in the same gift wrap for that person, but we don't put their names on them. So as we put the presents out, um, and you know, now we have a group of 12 people, 12? What do we have? We have seven, eight, nine, 10. We have 11, okay, let me do this again, seven, eight, nine, 10, yes, we have 11 people that are in that mix, at least this year, there were 11 people. And so that means I need 11 different wrapping papers <laughs> under the tree. And then what we do is we cut a square of each person's wrapping paper, put their name on the back, and then on Christmas Eve, we hide that piece of paper. And then this year, okay, so then they all go around, find their wrapping paper, and then they know which presents. Then that's like their first moment where they know, oh, I got all the, blue snowflake or I got all the green Santas or whatever it might be and um, it just makes makes it I think really really fun and this year what we did is the first person to find their wrapping paper was how we started um, unwrapping presents so we just started with that person and then went around a circle like that so that made a little just a little added change to it today or I mean this year okay so here are some wrapping papers we did get some from all these let me see here so Maria picked this one out this has uh, Christmas sharks <laughs> which I thought was hilarious but she thought that was super cute this one I believe we got at Aldi as well it's um, red um, glittery with no peeking until December 25th which was cute and then there was oh and then this one I think we got there as well did we and then this is the other one from Aldi. It's just like a kind of a midnight blue. And then it has all these like little wintry ho homes on it. And that is cute too. Then I at Walmart found this one. I liked it because it had something green. We tend to not have a lot of green wrapping paper. I really like this. And then this one. I think we got this one at Goodwill. So at Goodwill... They had all of their wrapping paper at $2.99, also half off, so $1.50. And this is a really big roll. Um, Tis the season, I really, Noel, I like that. Okay, I could go on and on on wrapping paper. I just think it's all so pretty. We liked it, it was very, um, very rustic with the deer and then the little winter village. And that plaid is so pretty. And then this Jingle Bell two-sided wrapping paper we thought was so pretty. Okay, from Aldi, I also picked up a ham because they were um, normally, what were they? Um, $1.69 a pound, and they were marked at 94 or 95 cents a pound. So I picked up one of the spiral sliced ones, the great value. So we had ham for Christmas dinner last night, and I picked it up at Walmart. It was a great value brand. I was not impressed. And so far we've eaten the entire ham except for the little bit that I um, had to like, you know, when I was trimming off the bone and everything, I put that in for scalloped potatoes and ham for tonight for supper. And we'll finish that off too. So we ate it, but it was not the best. And the last thing that we picked up here were some of these poppers for New Year's Eve. And when I pulled one off the shelf and then a second one and a third one and a fourth one, Maria's eyes just lit up and I thought, wow, for $4, I made her day. I do buy a number of my tops from Goodwill. Actually, this sweater I have on and actually my tank top that I have on underneath here, both of these things came from Goodwill, probably not last winter, I think, but the winter before. And I don't mind just sort of picking things up from Goodwill and wearing them for a couple of years. And then I can just be like, you know what? I'm done with that. I had my fun with that color scheme or that 
style or whatever and then moving on. So let me lay out what I picked up and then I'll show you. Okay, so starting up here at the top, I did pick up this Carhartt flannel shirt and I don't think anybody ever wore it. It doesn't even, it like, it like still has, the collar just feels like it's never even been washed. Anyway, I picked that up for $6.99. I love this color. It just felt very, very uh, woodsy to me and I loved it. This Sonoma, which, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe Sonoma is from Kohl's. And, oh, it is. Look at that right on the tag. So this still had the tag on it. This one I picked up here at Goodwill also for $6.99. I did buy that blue sweater, that blue like long open cardigan this year. And this is has blue dots in it. And I thought it would look really cute under there. Then I got this white, um, just thin. Again, this is just a Walmart brand and I paid $4.99 at Goodwill. That's probably similar to the price that it would be at Walmart. Maybe Walmart was a dollar or two more. But anyway, I it's like brand new. It doesn't even look, again, like it was even worn. There's no discoloration on it. And I loaned mine to Amber. I had a, just a plain old, looked very much like this, white shirt. She needed something to wear under her scrubs and I never got it back. <laughs> so anyway, I picked one up for myself. Now this next shirt, Maria was like, uh, mom, I don't think so. But I liked it and it fit really well. And it was a pink tag. So this was actually only $3.50 because pink was 50% off today. And I really just liked it because one, I liked the brightness and I liked the collar and I thought it would look really cute under this long sweater cardigan. This is an Old Navy brand that I paid $5.99 for. It has low pockets. It's very long. It has the V-neck with the buttons, and it just was a different look, a little bit sophisticated, I think. And I thought with a collared shirt under it, that would be just a different look for me. Not something I wear often, but I'm going to try it out. Then this next one, this was... $1.99, again, Old Navy brand, and just your traditional sort of boat neck style stripes. Thought it was cute. I could wear it under, again, that um, navy blue cardigan sweater that I got. And then this sweater, another Sonoma from Kohl's. This one was another $1.99. It's kind of thin, so I'll, the tank top I have on now, I'll have to wear that underneath this one but I like that this was a little bit longer and it has three quarter length sleeves. So, which is like the sweater I have on. And I've been liking three quarter length sleeves lately because I tend to get hot. <laughs> and then this one, the tag's been cut off, so I have no idea what brand it is. I don't even know truly what size it is. They had it marked as a large and I got it for $1.99. Just a nice layering top. It has some cute lines though. The, the stitching kind of comes from the back and then comes down the front. So it had a, a, just a neat hang to it. I like that. And then this last sweater, Maria also was like, ah, uh, no, mom. But I got it. I love <laughs> glitter sequins. And this also was Old Navy, and this was also $1.99. Like I said, I do think it's kind of fun to just pick up clothes from Goodwill, because like for $1.99, if I only wear that the rest of this season, which we're just getting started with our winter here, if I wear it the rest of the season, and then if next year I'm like, eh, I'm not really feeling that, it's I'm happy that I only spent $1.99 and not like Old Navy, I don't know what I'd pay for that sp that sweater. I haven't been to an Old Navy in years because I get all my Old Navy stuff from Goodwill. <laughs> so anyway, that's it for this video today. I hope that you guys really enjoyed it. And as always, and just a reminder to everybody that if you do want to make a comment, you're going to have to head over to the community page to do that. And I'll have a little picture or something like that to kind of earmark it so you know where to leave the comment for this video. And I love it when you do hop over there. It's fun to just uh, see all the new names and things like that. And it's not just the new names that I look forward to seeing. It's all of of um, 
you know, it's my old friends too. So love that you guys hop over there and keep me company on the community page. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. And, um, and of course, all of the uh, trusty old standbys as well. So that makes it sound like I don't like that trusty old standby.